Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. During October here at TCM, we're getting into the Halloween spirit a little early with this week's edition of Silent Sunday Night, one of the great horror stories of the era. From Universal Pictures in 1925, Lon Chaney stars as the Phantom of the Opera. This is one of the films that made Chaney a genuine superstar. It's also one of the first films to lay the groundwork for Universal's reputation as the preeminent studio for on-screen horror. A few years later at Universal, Dracula first saw the light of day. Frankenstein came shortly thereafter, followed by Bride of, Son of, Ghost of, and all the other ofs in the Frankenstein fraternity. However, as memorable as those movies are, few films are as well regarded as this story, The Phantom of the Opera. It's based on Gaston Leroux's novel about a hideously disfigured man who lurks under the Paris Opera House, causing all manner of trouble, especially when he becomes hopelessly devoted to a beautiful young opera singer, hoping to bring her, willingly or not, to his secret lair. Phantom was a big budget movie extravaganza in 1925. When it premiered, it opened at the prestigious Astor Theater in New York, and it was billed like a stage play, rare for a movie at the time. You had to reserve seats. There were only two shows a day for months, but with packed houses. But now, you can watch it from the comfort of your own sofa. From Universal in 1925, here's Lon Chaney as the Phantom of the Opera. 